Hello beautiful people, I'm James Raphael. This is gonna be a strong, intense practice. If you love your vinyasa, but you can't put any weight on your wrists, this one's for you. Let's get going and work up some heat. So we're gonna start standing up. Come to the front of your mats. Standing in mountain pose. Feet hip distance apart, spine tall. And settling into the feet, take a little rock forwards and back on the feet. Just awakening the toes and the sole of the foot. As you come to stand, close the eyes, take a deep breath in through your nose. A long breath out through your mouth. And again, whatever's gone before this moment, and you breathe it in and then breathe it out. Start to settle into nasal only breathing just through the nose. In this practice, keep a gentle drawing in of the belly button so there's a feeling of being corseted in the abdominals. We're gonna begin. Inhale, sweep the arms up, join the palms together. Exhale, fold all the way down, fingertips gently touch the ground. Inhale, halfway up, hold here. Bend your knees, forearms and arms parallel to the floor, chair pose. Sitting back nice and low and getting comfy. Wiggle your bum if it makes you feel good. So, weight in the heels, spread the toes, shoulders calm. Three more breaths. Your legs and your glutes are the powerhouse of your body, so if we use them, we'll get nice and warm. One more. Exhale, fold down, fingertips to the ground. Inhale, lift up halfway, step the left foot back, arms coming up straight into the air, crescent lunge. Take the palms behind the neck in prayer, very gently touch the fingertips and the wrists are receiving no pressure. And then tuck the tailbone, lift the heart towards the sky. Calm, deep breaths. Really tucking the tailbone under, and to access the front of the hip. From here, take your arms forwards, tuck your back toes and press up into a high lunge, straighten both legs. We're coming back down, 10 and up. Nine, exhale, seven, six, five, halfway there. Keep your balance. Four. And three. Squeeze the glutes on the left side. Two. One hover just above the ground. Hold here. Tuck the tailbone. Draw your lower ribs in. Bring your palms to your heart. And now straighten your back leg. Turn to the right. And then all the way to warrior two. Back heel down. In your warrior two, really spread the mat between your feet. Lift your front hip up to level the pelvis. Nice steady breath. We're gonna lift the front heel off the floor, come onto the ball of the foot. As an option to make this super intense, you could lift the back heel off the floor as well. And we're finding a little balance and really waking up. Three more breaths. Keep the front knee right above the front ankle. Ankles trembling with excitement. Lower the heels. Inhale, reverse straight on your front leg. Moving into triangle, front leg stays long. Inhale, reach forwards. Exhale, fingertips rest on the shin or tickling the ground beneath you. It's floating. No weight in the wrists at all. Hip back, chest forwards. From here, warrior two, and big transition into half moon. Lift forwards, back leg floats, hand is off the floor, totally hands free, back leg active. As you start to find the balance, calm the breath. Letting the strength of the posture be the thing which creates the flexibility. Press your back heel away. Wobble with me, <laughs> or not. And now from here, step back, warrior two. 
Shorten your stance by about a third. Pyramid legs. Both legs are long. Reach the arms back like the swords of a warrior and then fold forwards. Use an inhale to lift the chest and lengthen. Draw your right hip back and exhale, fold. If it feels good, you can take the arms right over and out. If you like little micro details, think about drawing your right hip back and reaching your chest towards your big toe, getting nice and long. We're taking this into warrior three. Inhale, look up, bend the front knee. Exhale, glide into it, back leg reaching. Point the foot. Option one, breathe here. Option two, arms forwards. Roll the back thigh inwards. Keep it strong, four. Three, two, one. Mountain pose, come to stand front of your mat. Shift weight into the right foot. Cross your left ankle over the right knee and take the arms wide like wings. We're gonna sit back, sit back into the hips and flex the front foot. And settling in, see how much you could relax the shoulders and the neck. Fingertips dripping gently down. Calm breath, calm mind through the challenge. Sit back a little deeper, nearly there. From here, release mountain pose. Give your right foot a little shake out. Oh. So you come to stand, inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold to the ground, fingertips to the floor. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, right foot steps back, this time back knee down. Crescent lunge, arms rising. Very gentle prayer behind the neck. Use the elbows, draw them in, lift them up. And even if you're moving the hips forwards, keep tucking the tailbone. So you really create space in the front of the right hip. Three more breaths. I'm sensing how you could get a little cozy, even in postures that challenge you. Slowly release, arms come forwards. Tuck the back toes, here we go. Exhale, push up, straighten both legs. Lowering down for 10, 9, 8, 7, tummy muscles still on, still corseted, 6, and 5, and 4, nearly got this, 3, and 2, and 1, it's the hold unfortunately, hold, 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 hold. Bring the palms together in front of the heart. Quiver with delight. <laughs> Straighten the back leg. Turn to your left very briefly. Oh. And warrior two, back heel down. Let's take a moment, oh, settle in. Lift your front hip up. Notice how that strengthens your back leg. Option to breathe here or to lift the front heel. If you lift the front heel, keep the knee above the ankle. Go easy with this one. Option to lift the back heel. Really stretching the mat between your feet. Four more breaths, long ones. Eight short ones. <laughs> Two. And one, return the heels, reverse warrior. Straighten your front leg for triangle. Inhale, reach the left ribcage forwards. Exhale, fingertips down to the ankle. I'm just tickling the ground, no weight. Great expansion across the upper back. Steady your breath. Two more. Slowly return to your warrior two. 
And here we go, preparing for half moon, gliding in, hold, expand. In bottom hand off the floor, lift up into your back muscles. Think about lifting the chest, lifting the back, and settling into it. One more breath. Slowly return the foot, warrior two. Shorten your stance for pyramid pose. Both hips square forwards, both legs long, arms back. Inhale, lift the chest, reach the heart. Exhale, folding forwards. Again, use an inhale to lift the chest once more Draw the left hip back, go long, you've got this, and then exhale, fold. Arms rising overhead. Doesn't matter how low you get, just get a sense of the length through the back of the body, the length through the front of the torso, and the left hamstrings cooking a bit. One more breath here. When you're ready, start to release, bend the front knee, Warrior three, back leg lifts. Go slow in the transition. Point the back foot. Level the pelvis. Option to take the arms forwards here. Really imagine you're being pulled through the back foot and through the fingertips if the arms are forwards. Three, two, one, step to the front of your mat. Oh. So at the front of your mat, once again, shift weight into the left foot, right ankle over left knee, figure four. Send the hips back, arms floating. And let the shoulders draw away from the ears, but keeping them really soft and a floaty feeling. Fingertips dripping, hovering like a bird over the ocean. Commitment to strength and endurance. Sit back a little deeper, last few breaths. Slowly begin to release mountain pose. Give your left foot a shake out this time. Oh. Inhale, arms rise, palms join. Exhale, fall to the ground. Inhale, lift up halfway. This time lift your heels, bend your knees, lower your hips into a squat. We're gonna lower ourselves down, coming to sit. As you sit, straighten the legs out, roll all the way down onto your back. Take a deep breath in, clear those lungs. Oh, here we go. Start to reach your fingertips forwards, lift your head and shoulders off the floor. Press your lower back down, and now zip the legs together, point the toes. We're gonna to lift the legs a foot away from the ground. Hold. Imagine you're scooping the body in, really hollow. Fingers active, toes active. Breathing as calmly as you can, even as the work builds. We're gonna to come to sit up, keep the feet off the floor, bring the knees in, lift, shins parallel to the floor. Squeeze the knees together, boat pose, straighten the legs, five breaths. Heart reaching. And if it's proving really tough, it's a tough sequence. Come in and out as best you can. Each time you do this sequence, you'll get stronger. It's amazing what repetition can do. You can do things you never thought you would do at a certain point. Nearly there, last breath. We're gonna lower down to that half position. Lower down, lengthen the legs, keep the chest off the floor. Coming back up into boat for five. Lower down, lift back up, four. Lower down, lift back up. If you need to bend the knees, go for it, three. Otherwise, legs can stay straight eventually, two. And one, hold. Hold, hold, and cross-legged position. Oh. 
for a moment, come to sit. Take a deep breath in and a lion's breath out. <sighs> Once more. <sighs> Last time. Get out the things you don't need, what doesn't serve you. <sighs> so from here, tricky little movement. Come to lie down. Come into a ball and start to rock up and down. You're going to rock back. Feet come down. We're going to try and rock up into a squat now. Feet come down, lift up, and squatting. From here, lengthen the legs forward, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Shift weight into the right foot. Left leg comes up and back, standing split. I'm delicately resting my fingertips down. My left leg is lifting and I'm going to roll my left thigh inwards. Barely using the hands, now start to see if you can float the fingertips off the floor and reach the arms behind you and overhead. Five. Strong back leg, lift it. Four. It'd be really wobbly this one. Three. Two. One. Slowly come to stand and bring the left knee into the chest. Take your arms out in front of you now. Straighten the left leg and hold. You've got a couple options here. Either option one, breathe here, or option two, using a wall or a piece of furniture. Pistol squat. Start to lower down, bend the right knee, come to the ground. If you made it down, congratulations. Press back up, that's your reward. From here, standing split, Right fingertips come down again. Left leg lifting. Either breathing here or pistol squat again. Feed the leg through the arms. Fingertips barely touching or floating. And then coming back through, standing split. Step your left foot back, folks. High lunge, warrior two. Oh, my front leg is cooking, man. From here, inhale, reverse, straighten your front leg. We're nearly there. And half moon, reach forwards. From your half moon, revolve into warrior three. From your warrior three, standing split, fingertips down, left leg lifts. Step your right foot back, back knee on the floor, and lunge. <sighs> Give your arms a little wiggle, shake it out. This time I'm going to let my hands dangle, firmly lifting up through my pubic bone and squeezing my glutes at the back. Send your hips forwards and down, but keep lifting the chest up, finding more of a back bend this time. If you've got a lot of space, eventually sitting right towards the front heel, chest lifted. And last option, arms might rise. Breathe in to lift and lengthen. Tuck the tailbone, squeeze the left glutes, and option to arch back. Take three more breaths. And release. From here, step the right knee back. Child's pose, palms turn to the sky. Take a couple big breaths here. And the sense of the heat and the fire of the practice, and clearing away the things you don't need, clearing space for both freedom, but also self-compassion, the combination of strength and kindness are reinforcing. Slowly come back to the knees. Step the left foot forwards. From here, step the right foot forwards, forward fold. Got all that on the second side now. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fall back down. Fingertips barely touching the floor. They might not even touch. Right leg comes up and back into a standing split. Again, roll the right thigh in. Lift the leg. 
This is all about your posterior chain. It's about your glutes. Option to breathe here, or to float the hands, or maybe take the arms overhead like arrows to the sky for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come to stand, right knee comes up and into the chest, arms forwards, hold it here. Straighten the right leg, hold, either breathing here or lowering down, pistol squat. Here we go, go slow with control. Hands off the floor where possible. If you made it down, <laughs> make it back up. And then from here back through, standing split. Again, either holding the split or one more pistol squat. Knee comes into the chest, fingertips floating leg comes through and then back through split step the right foot back high lunge warrior two back heel down mop your brow beautiful people oh. from here reversing breath in straight in the front leg our final bit of standing work half moon Drag the back foot up and into it. You've got this, you're so close. Warrior three, revolve in space, point in the back foot, and then standing split. Right foot steps back, back knee down, and arms dangling. The arms are decoration, completely useless right now. Lift the pubic bone. Tuck the tailbone under and lowering down. As I lower into the back bend, I'm actually trying to limit the back bend as much as possible. So I'm going to lift my pubic bone. I'm going to engage my glutes on the right side. So I really get lots of space in the upper spine and the front of my right hip. And of course, there will be a back bend, but I'm controlling it. One more breath. Arms lifting up now as an option. Use the inhale to lengthen and lift. And if you're arching back, exhaling, belly button in for three, two, one. Hands come down. This time step to the front of your mat, forward fold. Lift the heels, take the arms forwards, little squat. We're going to curl or plonk all the way down. Lie on your back. Hug your knees in towards your armpits. Take a little rock and a roll. You deserve it. So, and settling, bringing the knees into the chest for a moment. And then from here, take the arms out to the sides. You send both knees over to the left. Take a deep breath in and out. Oh. And then over to the other side. Knees over to the right. Again, taking a deep breath in and out. Oh. Come back to center. We've got our last little bit of strength here in the abdominals. And then it's Shavasana from here on out. So listen closely. Lift your feet off the floor. Bend the knees until your knees are right above your hips. That is where they are going to stay. Feet come together. Cross the right ankle over the left now and squeeze your knees in like you have something between the knees. Fingertips delicately touch the sides of the head, curling up just the head and shoulders. We're going to hold here. Press your lower back into the ground. And now listen closely. I'm going to try and lift just my tailbone and my sacrum off the floor and they're going to go straight up. So when I lift, my knees aren't going to come into my face at all. No, no, no. They're going to go straight up. So knees stay above the hips, lift straight up and down for five, up, down, four, up, down, three, up, down, two, up, knees away from your face, down, last one. Hold, 
Hold, keep lifting up through the tailbone. This is deep in the lower abdominals and pelvic floor. And release, drop the head, bring the knees in. Ah. We've got another round coming up, straight into it. Knees above the hips, curl up. Left ankle over the right for variety and distraction. <laughs> Knees squeeze together, lower back down. Elbows in and up, and here we go. Tailbone and sacrum straight up for five, hold, down. Four, up, hold, down. Three, you're doing great. Last one, two. Last two actually, one, that's the last one. And down, release, stretch out. Oh. Give your legs a little wiggle. One final round of movements here and a nice stretch and a rest. So this time I'm gonna bring my feet straight up to the sky, pointing my toes. I'm gonna open my legs into a V shape. Check that your feet are in line with your hips. They've not gone forwards and they're not back here near your ears. Feet in line with the hips, point the toes. Same as before, curl up, just the head and shoulders, elbows in and up. We're gonna lift the tailbone off the floor again. Send the hips up for five, down, four, down. Feet in line with your hips, down. Last couple. Last one, lift up, hold, 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 hold. Feet in line with your hips, hold it, nearly there. Got it, got it, got it, and done. Release, and hug your knees in. I can hardly speak, rock side to side. And then take a big full body stretch out, folks. Oh. Oh, the joy of a deep breath after hard work. Keep your arms overhead, slowly walk your feet in. Swish your knees side to side a couple times. And then take your arms alongside your hips, palms face the sky. Let's just release the front of your hips. Your hip flexors have worked hard this practice. So do a low glute bridge, heels down, pelvic, pelvis tucks under, tailbone lifts and really tuck the tailbone under. Think of this as stretching out the front of your body more than it being a back bend. So really curl the tailbone under, and then exhale, lower down. It's gonna take a minute or so in Shavasana. Stretch out the legs. Create a bit of space around the arms, around the body. And then one huge breath in through your nose. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Hold the breath at the top and let it all go. <sighs> As the body becomes calm and quiet, I'm sensing all those little tingling sensations heat, the movement of energy in all its different forms, the movement of prana in the yoga tradition, life force, a feeling of being energized, and basking in that glow just for another few moments together. Sense the muscles of your face softening, the jaw ungripping, and the heartbeat and your breath, just settling back towards a natural equilibrium. We always return to balance if we give ourselves a little time and space. So begin to deepen your breath again, wonderful people. 
<sighs> Wiggle your fingers and toes. And then walking your feet in. You could hug the knees in if that feels good. Give yourself a little rock. And then perhaps rolling over to one side. <clears throat> Just finding your way up to sit. <clears throat> so. This is the close invitation to either rest the hands or join the palms if that feels good to you. Just bowing a little bit in honour of your commitment and your unfolding, growing strength. We'll bow in honour of the practice and the tradition. So thank you so much for joining. I hope this energised you and gave you that strong practice that maybe you need but you can't always get if you're working with a wrist or a hand injury. As always, leave me feedbacks below. I would love to hear from you. And otherwise, I will see you all very soon. Have a great day wherever you are in the world. 